those patients who had these operations who did not have any therapy up front but went straight to the operating room, they did not do well long term. But we did find out that those patients that had some form of therapy prior to their operation had significantly improved outcomes long term. We've also found that our, our short term outcomes in terms of our complication rates, et cetera, has decreased over time. And thus, all in all, it's showing that these patients who would typically not be offered an operation can have both good short term and long term results. We're definitely seeing a big revolution. A lot of this has to do with better chemotherapy drugs, which are much more effective, utilization of what we call multimodal therapy, chemotherapy, radiation, and then an aggressive operation. And now we could potentially offer these therapies to patients who had previously had no other options. The key thing is, is a sense of optimism that there are options. You know, not everyone wants to sign up for these big operations or these long protocols of chemotherapy and radiation, but just having the options available to them to make that, you know, educated decision about whether this is something that, you know, would benefit from them. Otherwise, they had no options. They were told there's nothing to do, go home and make arrangements. We're offering them, you know, some additional bit of hope for a pretty large, substantial number of patients that had been previously ignored. We found that the median survival, meaning the average, number, the average duration of life after they go through this protocol, is now approaching four years, which is about four times that that would normally be done in patients who would not have undergone an operation. We additionally found that those patients that get more chemotherapy prior to their operation do significantly better. Those patients who had a tumor marker, which is a, a, a blood test that they measure, if it's elevated prior to their diagnosis and if it comes back to normal, those patients also do significantly better. And then obviously once we take the cancer out and our pathologist looks at it under a microscope, if there's minimal residual cancer, again, those patients do significantly better. So we're hoping that this will now you know, spread to the rest of the country and now people have a roadmap of how to treat these patients who are in these kind of difficult anatomical circumstances. That hopefully it'll be all chemotherapy up front, maximize the duration of chemotherapy, followed by radiation therapy to help with our eventual operation, and then to take these people to the operating room if all the other metrics are aligning.